Hi, Neil here from Portainer. So today I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of the new edge compute capabilities introduced in Portainer 1.24.0. So in front of me here, I have a Portainer instance with three edge agent enabled endpoints defined. Uh, if you have not yet done that, you go to endpoints, add endpoint, edge agent, and add your edge, edge agents this way. But once you've added them, you can see them here in the in the home page. Now to enable the new edge compute features you go to settings enable edge compute features and click save and you'll see here the new menu so we've got edge groups and edge groups are just that they are a way of logically grouping edge enabled endpoints uh, together uh, for management purposes so we can create a group called all endpoints and we can simply select the nodes and add them to a group uh, or we can add a group that it is dynamic. Now dynamic groups are automatically populated based on endpoints having certain tags associated with them. In our case we don't yet have any tags so if we head across to the tags view and get endpoints tags and create tags. Now these are just text descriptors so you have free reign to, to name a tag anything you like. In this case I'm going to create one called single node swarm. I'm going to create one called multi node swarm. And we're going to create one called Ubuntu. So just three simple tags. Uh, we go to our endpoints and we associate the tags to the nodes. So this is my Ubuntu. This is a multi-node and it's Ubuntu. Update. My CentOS, it is a single node. It is not Ubuntu. So update. And OMV, it is a single node. It's not Ubuntu. So update. Go to home and you'll see here the tags assigned. Single node, single node, multi-node and Ubuntu. Now go to edge groups, add an edge group, dynamic, and we can say I want a group that is multi-node swarm clusters. So we say I want a full match and only allow machines to be added to this group if they have the tag multi-node swarm. So you say OK, and you see here we've got one endpoint. I can do the same thing for single node swarm, dynamic, single node swarm. You see now we've got two of them. Or I can create another one that is just swarm nodes, dynamic, and say partial match. Let machines be added to this group, whether they are either single, so you see two of them, or multi. So now we see all three. So we see all three here. I can also create another one that says show me a group of where you have Ubuntu. So dynamic Ubuntu. Add. So you can see here, you can go and create your groups based on, on tag membership, either, either a full match, so endpoints must match all tags, or partial match, endpoints can have any of the tags. Once you've done that, you can head across the stacks and deploy a stack. Now if I deploy a simple droppy stack over here, and paste this in here, and say I want to deploy this on my uh, multi-node swarm, and go deploy, and just quickly refresh, you see here now there is one node of that group has acknowledged that it, it had, that there is a job pending for it, uh, and very quickly it will transition from from acknowledged to OK, and it'll either go to OK or it'll go to failed. Uh, but basically this means that the endpoint has checked into Portainer. It has been told that there is a task pending for it. It has downloaded the task, executed the task, and reported back. You can click on it click endpoints and you can see if you have a big list which nodes are okay which nodes are not okay and so we can now go to our node the Ubuntu node you wait for this to connect and once that connects we'll see that we have centrally managed and pushed down the the edge stack so we go to stacks there's edge droppy that we deployed and here's the service that we have deployed as part of this so you go back to our edge stacks again and say actually I don't just want this on multi-node, I also want this on my I also want this on all swarm nodes. So go and update it. And now refresh. You'll see here that there's actually now it knows there's one new node. Refresh again, there should be another node and it's come through. Refresh again. Eventually they'll all go and move to complete. So there's all three. Um, we did not go and redeploy on the on the multi-node because it was already running. So we, we, we just said, okay, well, there's two new nodes being added, so those two new nodes have to deploy it. So there you go. We've got this edge stack now deployed across all three endpoints. 
uh, if we want to do something and say let's just do another one again we'll use that same one and we'll say Ubuntu and we'll just change the port number so we don't get a conflict so here we go we're going to deploy this again to a endpoint group that contains nodes that are Ubuntu and you'll see here it'll basically go to acknowledged and then on the next check-in time it'll download it and now running so it's one of them now you realize ah hang on a second that OMV node actually is Ubuntu so let's make it Ubuntu update endpoint go back to edge stacks and you see here automatically it's realized that there's actually now a new node that needs the job assigned refresh again and you'll see there we go we've now got that node automatically added and the the stack deployed to it so just a very very nice way of deploying now let's say that you were adding and removing um, services to the stack if you remove Remove services from the stack you need to flick the little switch to say prune and it will go and delete them from the nodes otherwise this is simply going to make changes to what's there or add it won't remove services if you if you're removing them from the stack so always remember if you're taking services away to hit prune and it'll remove them uh, obviously when you come into edge stacks if you remove the edge stack uh, it'll go and remove it from the remote environment so again if I remove all the edge stacks here and go to stacks you'll see edge dropper here and as i refresh it'll eventually go away there we go it's already gone and it cleans up itself so it's already it's all controlled centrally from this one edge compute feature now one of the other cool things we've got here is edge templates now this is a still work in progress so you can say i actually want to use a template and this little drop down box will go and query a portainer repo for edge templates and you can say i actually want to deploy cockroach db and I want to deploy that to my multi-node swarm cockroach db and you have the ability to edit it now so I can come and change some things if I actually don't want it on 8080 I want it on a different port you can change it and you click deploy and same thing just from that template uh, it will go and go and acknowledge and then it'll go and move eventually from acknowledged into OK um, just one note OK here simply means that the stack has been deployed deployed on the remote environment um, it does not necessarily mean that the stack is, is actually completed running so here it's green if I go to stacks you'll see the stack go to services you'll see the service but there's still zero here it's basically saying that it is had has, it has asked the endpoint to deploy the endpoint has says okay it is deploying um, we're not actually collecting back status on the actual jobs themselves so if the jobs stay stuck in preparing or failing uh, we won't know that. All we know is that we have deployed the stack to the endpoint. But the, these templates, uh, we will be adding more and more templates as we as we come across uh, edge applicable templates. Um, these are just two examples. Obviously, neither of these two are really applicable for edge. They're just simply there, so you can see how it works. Um, just like our other uh, stacks deployment page, you can still use a Git repo. You can upload a, a compose file or just the web editor as we had there. Um, but this is edge stacks, edge groups, edge templates, and the new edge compute features. Try this out. Let us know what you think. Uh, we've got a lot of enhancements uh, roadmapped for the edge compute capability. So just keep checking back and you'll see how we evolve this over time.